Hi everyone, uh, we are just on the road at the moment. Um, I'm not driving obviously. I've got my beautiful driver here, all costed up. Um, we're on the way to see a guy called Stuart Cosgrove um, in Bolton. He's been looking at my groin um, and he's going to look at look at it today. It's less than four weeks till Britain's Strongest Man, so. At the moment, I'm not able to train any of the events uh, without significant discomfort. So, I'm just going to get Stuart's final thoughts on what's going on with my groin, how it's healing, um, what he recommends I should do today. Um, and I'm going to do everything he says because I'm getting quite sick of being injured all the time. I want it right, so I'm gonna make sure I do everything in my power to uh, get myself right. Is that true? It was in last time. Just know it's the truth. Mm -hmm. Hi, you okay? You like on edge? Hello, Graham, come in. All right. Hope you don't mind out the camera. He's got his mask on hiding. Do you want this shirt? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just, uh, it's just easy. The thing is, it's getting better, but it's not like, it's not there yet. Like, no. You know, we trained yesterday, I no. couldn't, I still can't squat. No. But like, I was yeah. doing power cleans with a log, but heavy, but even then stood there a bit, doing that, I'm like, yeah, it's yeah. still not, Still not there yet. No, it's just prog it's progressive. With the yeah. Treatment. You know, we'll go through another procedure next stage. Yeah. Something called P and F today, and see if you can handle it. You know, it's about activating it. Yeah. Treating it obviously with the ultrasound and breaking it down. Mm. That, it's activating that muscle again. I do everything slow negative at the moment. I find in the squeezing has been helping. Yes. Yeah. Do you yeah. squeeze and hold and then just yeah. just release slowly? Yeah. yeah. And I've even just been like. I think yesterday I didn't even really try to lift it, I just pushed it. Yeah. yeah pushed yeah. my legs in. What I'll do today is um I'll get I'll just cut a band and then unless I've got one already cut. I'll do some just to activate your abductors if you put your legs together, I'll just just measure it for size. Yeah. Measure me for size. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a bit of tension when you when you're squatting. We'll do this upstairs after. So activate your abductors and just take the pressure off a bit and get your squatting going. We've got a hip circle. Have you? Yeah. It's just handy. You know. Yeah. That's good. Good. That's Line interesting because Dale gets me to do wall sits with that on before I squat. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Too many surprises. Oh no, day, yeah. <laughs> Can't cope. Let's <laughs> <laughs> uh, just have a feel. That's good. That's good. Let's drop the stone. It's quite a decent range now. Compared to when we first came yeah, in. Yeah, really good, yeah. Not as sore. Yeah, it's sore. Not sore but yeah, yeah, it's not as thick. Yeah. Okay. That's what put me in red face on. <laughs> <laughs> no screaming on camera. <laughs> You're allowed to cry, you know. If it gets a little bit warm, so I'm going to change the dose a little bit. Just give us a shout. Yeah. Don't don't let it get uh, too hot. Do 
Do you remember when we first came and you couldn't even rest your leg like that? Yeah. <clears throat> Things that come from like just being how it is now and then training through it and it just got, yeah. you got you got too much pain. That's right, yeah. You were doing it more you know, you're you more injury, you know. Even though he, even though when they did the ultrasound scan they couldn't get the probe to see the actual muscle tear. Mm -hmm. The, the thing that I took from it, which was the main thing, is that the attachments were intact, you see. Yeah. Which they, they could get, you see. Even on somebody like you, still still see the attachments. It's just the depth of it, they can't go that too deep in the muscle, you know. Mm. So what do you think I've actually done then? I think you've done a, a grade, probably a grade two tear of the abductor along this muscle. Um, near, nearer the tendon, but still in the muscle. Just a bit lower than the muscle tendon junction, that's where I can feel it. Right. So it means it's repairable. Get get you right with the with the rehab, you know. Mm. Don't need surgery, basically. So why do you think I think it's gone again on me then? Just because I've not managed it well. Yeah, you probably you know what this is the trouble, you know, sometimes you might have had a micro tear before, you might have had some micro tears building up. And it's the case of the straw that brought the camels back. Mm. And it just goes even worse than all of a sudden, you know. You might have had warning signs. Mm. And you, you tend know, to train through it. Not, I've not felt any pain in it until I started to push my squats. Yeah. Yeah, it was that session. So you might have done a little injury then, and then that little injury just got worse. But it's still not, you know, um, what we call an avulsion. Pull yeah. off the bone or a tear at the muscle tendon junction, it's a bit further down the muscle, which is great. That's good. It means it's still vascular, it will we'll heal it quicker, you know. I feel it getting better every day, it's just, yeah. I want to function now, I want to train. I know. It's, Even it's, if it's just light, I want to be able to do stuff. The thing to do is just, yeah. what you want to do is, with the rehab and the slow negative work, gradually, gradually go heavier with that. Mm -hmm. So you're going heavier on your slow negatives. Yeah. And, and just think about, well, that's building up the strength of the muscle tendon junction mm. and that's what you want to strengthen it's just anything ballistic directly loading it now is a bit yeah. too early you know well what i was going to try and do i'm going to skip sitting today and we're training more now. yeah i was going to try and box squat obviously yeah slightly quite a bit of parallel yeah yeah get it so that yeah i could train it but then yeah obviously pain has to be yeah yeah minimal. that's great yeah uh, yeah, I, I, I kind of know when it's like because I, I did the log yesterday. And yeah. It was only, yeah, only doing triples on the power clean. Yeah, um, but I got like between thirty and forty reps in total. And yeah, I could feel like it was getting tired. But like I've got up today and it's not any worse. So what no. I did probably did a lot of good. Yeah, mm. that's right. But I think what's happened is a, a similar sensation happened to me when I was doing the axle press yeah. because I went heavy. Yeah, it's just gone. It does, yeah. It yeah. goes tips it over the edge. Yeah. You know, you, you were quite right. You, you, you've got to load it yeah. to a degree to help yeah, it to heal. But it's that, the, the trouble about, it, it, this eccentric loading has to be built up slowly. Yeah. If you go too much, you can go over the threshold and then you can damage it again. Mm -hmm. So what before you... that is helping to heal it. Mm -hmm. so. so you're going to do eccentric squats to a box? Yeah. Just oh, okay. Out, just have a yeah. squat anyway. Pause at the bottom, yeah. 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 I like to do them seated. Yeah. Do, it the, do it with the band on so you activate your abductors. And, uh, you know, oh, activate. That's, that's yeah. good, it's, get, yeah. it's good to get into that habit, you know. Because mm. you might be overloading your abductors then, you see. Mm. But you won't overload them if you're having to keep that band tight. Yeah. yeah. But we'll do that upstairs today. We'll, <clears throat> we'll do that with the band on on the power plate. Mm -hmm. And then we'll see if it translates to the floor and you just do a free squat without any pain, you know. Right. Hopefully yeah. that's the aim today. Okay. And then the other thing I want to do is um, use the power plate as a as a stretch for the adductors, just see how you go up, you know. Yeah. So you get my squat shoes out of the car. Yeah. Have you got have you got them in the car? Oh well you, you might as well do uh -huh. everything yeah. you know as you would do normally, yeah. Yeah. So I do this hold relax again, so that's it. Hold it, five, four, three. Contraction two, number one. one and <laughs> Good. And again. Hold. That's it. Hold it. Three, two, one, and relax. Oh, that's 
just nice to see somebody else on the bed in pain. <laughs> pull again. Hold it. Hold. 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 And relax. One, one more grip. Alright. And again. Pull. Hold it. Hold it. That's much stronger. Hold it. Hold it. And relax. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember when you said you used to be able to do the splits? I reckon you could do them now. <laughs> wow. Fuck. <laughs> I think Stuart just likes inflicting pain. To be fair, it's as it's said. To be fair, I can hear him shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Your leg was people, shaking. People me, Why have you got that smile on your face? I said, I'm, I'm smirking because I put that much pressure. <laughs> Because he likes hearing you scream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Are you ready? I'm trying to give you a rest. More pain. Let's see where you are. On your bike. <laughs> right. You are so crazy. what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to, this is called PNF again, it's a diagonal. So we start off with your leg out in this position, with your foot turned out like that. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to activate to lift it up in that diagonal okay so what i want you to do is you try and take the weight of the leg now and lift up hold 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 and relax okay so work on this outer range first okay so you're lifting up imagine you're lifting it over the other leg that's it hold 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 it, hold it, hold it. And relax. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Must be about 20 stone that way. It? it? Must be, yeah. It's, it's, a it's heavy. <laughs> You've got to have decent strong adductors, haven't you? So that's pretty good, that. Lift again. Hold it there. Hold it. That's full weight. That's good. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And relax. <sighs> well done. Fuck. <laughs> uh, One more. Pathetic. <laughs> be interesting to see what your other side is like. Oh, that'd be fine. Hold it, 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 and relax. Oh. Hold on, still a minute. I'm going to do the inner range after that. That's activated a lot better. <laughs> You've got one leg that works and one leg that doesn't. It's, it's weird though, but at least it's actually starting to work. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Work. So I was saying to you when I like last week, it feels like there's just not even an on button. Like I, I can sit down and then I can't yeah, yeah. get up. You can't, can't switch it on. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> so I've got like, like, <laughs> like I've got a habit at home <laughs> so when I'm on the funny. toilet. Yeah. I put my elbow on the sink so and so I just, leave yourself just leaving myself yeah. up because yeah. it, cause it, I can't activate yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. It's strange. You did see him getting off the sofa. He has to like roll off and roll turn off. around. Yeah. And... yeah. It's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> It's, crazy, I don't think so. <laughs> it's the most worst injury I've ever, ever, ever endured. Yeah. Yeah. It's not yeah. simple though, is it? No. No, it just needs the right management, really, you know. Yeah. Once you manage it well, you, you're fine. Just give you a bit, like I say on the video after, you know, it takes a bit longer with this one because there might be a bit of muscle tendon junction involvement, so you don't mm. want to rush it, you know. No. <clears throat> but it's, it's like not, you it's were saying, though, it. it's not something that you can rest, you're always using it. Like, just sit down, stand up, yeah. walk, whatever little movements, yeah. which you're not resting in. To be honest with you, it's not a bad thing, you know. Yeah. Being mobile with this, it's great, as long as mm. you don't do the wrong things and yeah. overdo it, you know. Yeah. You're right, you don't want to be sat down all the time. No. No, otherwise things are deez up, you see. Mm. I'm trying to get rid of the adhesions if somebody's sitting down at home all the time, because I get patients like that. Yeah. You know, you know them well when they come in, they've never done their exercises. Because mm. they come in, rigor mortis is set in. But you know? that's like what I said to you. That was your job. You literally sat all day. Yeah. And then you'd go in the gym and train. There was no, like, extra yeah. little bits of work. And yeah. that's probably why these Which things is happen. I mean, you know, yeah. in, in essence, a strong man and a body will needs to rest in between. But No, but not to that extent. Yeah. Relative rest. It's resting yeah. that intensity and everything. You know? Yeah, of course. But I think it's now, great. like, when we get uh, this, that extra time now to yeah. start to roll around mm. and yeah you yeah. never really made time for that point no. we didn't have time for it because we're absolutely you're right we had right two hours getting 
and you know like it's so important really because the yeah. thing is as you're getting stronger and stronger you need mm. you know you you still you still flesh and blood you're still tendons yeah. and tissue that tissue has to be stretched and i do have a question know. though more about that about this if i was to try and <laughs> it's use frozen a kettlebell shoulder. Like right. every morning to try and weight my freaking arm down, would that help you? Yeah, yeah, it's probably a decent, it's not just so quick chat. So, <laughs> yeah, you, I am. <laughs> i just see if there's any. Yeah, it is, it's capsular adhesion, is that? Yeah. What does that mean? It means the capsule's just tightened a little bit. It's inferior capsule, just have a few adhesions stick. The capsule in the shoulder is about six layers, you see, and if they gum up a bit, and that's through, that again will be microtear build-up. You know, we get inflammatory reactions from that. Yeah. The inflammation produces a sticky exudate and that gums everything up. Yeah. So mm. eventually in time, you get end range adhesions. And that's all that is. I can feel there's a spring on the tissue. So mm. there's no bony block. And that, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I can do it if you want. Or we could release it. But well, no, I'm going to. If you can do it I'm gradually. Sure I want to do it as a gradual yeah. everyday thing. What I would say is do it bilaterally. So basically, you know, you do pull overs with a dumbbell. Yeah, do that. So your arms here, the other Both. arm as well. Grabbing the dumbbell plates here. Yeah. So you're grabbing the bar, but just the plates, and just let it let it take you down. Ah, uh, so you'd get and heavier be the and heavier. Back to that arm, so you, you go with that arm, you see. Oh wow. And just let it pay out like that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And work through it. Yeah. yeah. You're safe, you know. But I noticed I did the. <clears throat> I managed to set up a thing with the cable yesterday. So yeah. I did the cable right in front of me. Yeah. A down pivot. I did that. Yeah. This side obviously pissed Does, I'll tell you what we'll do. This you know, side was hardly going anywhere. No, like, it doesn't. Weirdly, I, like last night, I was like, this shoulder was killing me. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, you might have a sub subscapularis tension as well. I could release that. Mm. You know, I, I would say, let's just try and get that a bit freer. Yeah. And then I'll assess your shoulder balance, your rotator cuff balance, because that's so important. Yeah. You know, you want a world record. Lock, oh, yes, so please. Let's, let's go for <laughs> April 2nd. That's right. That's... Let's work on that as well. When we get this right, I'll do them both, you know, but I'll, I, I'd say just, just work on the dumbbell to get your shoulder a bit well, more Well, the thing elevated. is, I know, I know how to act, because if I use the activation with a band, yeah. band outwards, yeah. I can lift my you can arm do all it. the way up yeah. when there's outside activation. Yes, yeah. So I, I know yeah. how to warm up to make it get me through it, get but I kind of want to, yeah. like, like, I can't hang, because obviously yeah. you can see, like, yeah, I can't hang. Because no, that's right. And you need to and, and, and do that if you want. Hang, you know, try and, you know, on your knees at first with a bar, you know. Um, well, this is this is what I did just, last year. I tried to hang. Yeah. And then I freaking, I like, it was completely agony because I think I don't yeah, but you, I think, it. yeah, I think you tried well, to do full body do, weight. Do, do, do it, do it gradually. Yeah. But you I know, mean, I got a lap pull down machine. I could just yeah. fucking use the weight for that, couldn't I? Yeah, you could. Yeah, but don't worry if you feel a pop in it. Because that's just adhesions releasing. Yeah. And it needs to go. In fact, you just need a bit more range in that, and then I'll do some subscap releasing on it, some manipulation on it, and I'll be able to get it further. And then, because it might be switching some part of your rotator cuff off. Mm. So we can assess that. Yeah. I'll do that. Do that later on. Just want to do. Um, so this one now. Um, this leg down. So I'm going to lift your your leg up and across. So we're doing inner range now. So turn your foot out a little bit. Right, and I want you to hold your leg in that inner range. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Painful. Yeah. I'll try, but you have to take some weight. I will take some weight, yeah. <laughs> so tr try again. I'll take some weight. That's it. Hold oh, it. Five, God, seconds, God, five God, seconds. Five seconds. Arm relax. <sighs> I, was, I was only taking about a third of the weight off there, yeah. You can let go of the next one. You sure? Ready? Okay, that's a bit again. Yeah, hold it. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Brilliant. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, fucking hell. Wow. See so your leg shaking. Is it yeah, sore? At least I can hold it. Like I was saying to you last week, I couldn't even budge my leg. Oh, I know, yeah. yeah. I let up floors, I can't lift my leg up. Yeah. Oh, it's great improvement. It's just what I want. <laughs> wow. wow so we'll go upstairs now to your favourite power play I can't wait to film you on that <laughs> <laughs> trying to turn around <laughs> yes. oh Jesus yeah. Christ <laughs> talk oh. sound like an alien it's you, 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 you
Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Your ears. <laughs> so we're gonna, I don't like it. Try to score with the hold on. Warm them up for later, Hixie. Yeah, watch out. Right, let's go on. <laughs> funny, funny you are. Yeah. <laughs> Did, uh... oh, I'm gonna ask. Right, guys. So that's um, <laughs> that's my pain done for the day. So this is now three weeks in since, I wouldn't say it went on me, but since my groin had had enough uh, with the training I've been doing. So we're three weeks in, um, I'm pretty happy with the progress. Um, I'm starting to get it working again now. Stuart's given me um, a really good insight into what I need to be doing going forward to both strengthen it and not hurt it again. Um, but unfortunately, it does mean that not Britain's strongest man for me. Um, but after that, it's Europe's strongest man, the 2nd of April. Yeah. Stuart thinks I'll be ready. It's, uh, yeah, it, it's a good sign, Everything, the way things are progressing, that it should be uh, resolved by then, yeah. yeah. Looking about 68 weeks in total for the type of injury sustained. Um, Don't to tell me the injury. Just a freaking pain in the ass, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, it's the, it's the um, adductor longus muscle on his on his uh, left hand side. He's torn near the top, but fortunate, fortunately, there's no tear off at the bone, so it's uh, it's looking good, and he's progressing really, really nicely. So watch this space. I'll be back <laughs> soon enough. Yeah. Thanks, Stuart. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like your shoes, Graham? <laughs> I do. They're just a pain getting your little toe in the fucking things. <laughs> it's because you've got a non-existent little toe. <laughs> <laughs> Cut them off. You done? So, that was my trip to the physio done. Um, really happy with the progress I've made but as you can see you know um, I'm not right yet yeah it's a bit going but um, you know I, I kind of did this last year and people didn't get to see it um, I was training through this problem and training around this problem just so I could compete um, and this problem's not gone away so um, I just want to I kind of owe it to myself now to address it and get myself in as good a shape as possible so um, and we'll do everything Stuart suggested I'm gonna really try and train smart um, and be patient and hopefully it'll pay off thanks everyone for watching um, I guess I'll probably do a, a Brits prediction video next um, now I'm not in it but thanks for watching guys please like please subscribe uh, <laughs> Have to crop out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, guys. Please like, please subscribe. Um, it helps grow my channel. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. <laughs>